What is up guys, my name is Gizomek, and if you're watching this video, it's because you want to learn how to do advanced frost combos. And to be honest, that's completely and totally fine because frost is a character in Xenoverse that takes a little bit of skill and a lot of finesse. I'm Gizomek, and I actually got popular for playing this game around two years ago professionally. I made thousands of subscribers on it, thousands of viewers and things like that. Um, but I eventually retired from the game due to the fact that Xenoverse was older and it was really bothering me. However, what I thought recently was that I can always come back and actually make combo guides so that even though I don't play the game anymore, other people that still do can learn how to play new characters that aren't just their custom characters. And today's combo guide is for Frost. Uh, we'll be talking about a lot with Frost and how good Frost actually is. We'll beat up on Super Saiyan Blue Goku here, but without further ado, I'm going to have Jack Shaw load us in. Jack Shaw, skip us into the video. So the major thing that we're going to want to note with Frost is that he is very, very, very easy in some regards, but also gets a lot of finesse in other regards. When I initially picked up the character, it was before the actual buff that made a lot of these um, these CACs, like the, uh, the non-custom original characters, a lot stronger. But we're going to start off with just his moves and what they do, and then afterwards we'll start off with the actual Frost combos. He has backflip on this preset, which is fine. I don't use it very much. Chaos Shot will actually shoot in a straight line if you hold it. If you don't hold it, it will shoot in a kind of a uh, ballerina dance thing like this. Meteor Blow is the same move it always has been. I will note that you can no longer do stamina breaks off of this move. They actually changed that. And then Full Power Charge is exactly what it implies. Full Power Energy Wave, you know what that is. Explosive Wave, you know what that is. And Secret Poison, you should know what that is as well. To get started with Frost, his basic X combo is going to be this. He's going to start flurry punches, and he's going to fly across the screen after a teleport. He will punch down and then punch hard, keep pushing the enemy into the ground. Something to be noted about this is that if he actually starts doing the heavy punches, it becomes uh, unvanishable for him past that point, but if he flies across the screen like this and starts doing these heavy punches, the enemy cannot vanish out of them. If they try to vanish out of them, Frost will continue hitting them off the combo and they will get knocked into the ground anyway. The cool thing about this is if you know anything about key canceling, which is just fancy for hitting the B button to stop yourself in a mid animation from a combo, you can actually do a continued combo off of this that's somewhat like this. We're hitting X, fly across the screen, go down and after this all we're going to do is we're going to hit b and then we're just going to move back into the character all i did was hit b for a key of key blast to continue the combo and i'll do it again right here so you can see you hit b and then you just do a soft dash back into the character and you can actually continue by doing another x combo and this is just a basic key cancel it's also an extension combo which will allow you to get a lot more damage off of the enemy when their stamina broken and get a lot of poke off when they're not stamina broken and all that was was x and then b at the end to knock them back up so that you can keep hitting them with the x button again the next thing we're going to want to go over is his XY. So if you start off with X and when he starts doing the flurry punches, you hit Y instead, he will fly around the enemy and kick them like this. Not very much that you're going to get off of that combo, considering that you can actually key cancel and continue it. Usually you're not going to do that one. If they're stamina broken like this, I suppose you could actually just do that combo just to make sure they get hit by the full power. And then you could do maybe like a full power energy wave after that. And that would definitely work. However, I don't really suggest that as it's kind of just a waste of time and while you're getting a lot of damage off, it only would be worth it if their stamina was coming back super fast, but you will never really do that combo. His YXY is fairly similar, um, it's just going to do this. If you mix up his buttons, he's literally going to do the exact same thing as that combo. We don't want that combo. We want to do the continued combo that gives us a lot of damage. So. Generally as Frost, you can actually do the, the stamina break right off of the teleport. If you cancel the teleport early, you can do a light stamina break right off of that. Believe it or not, you can also do a heavy stamina break, which I'm going to show you here. You can do a heavy stamina break just like that as well, which is the easy part of Frost. His stamina breaks are very easy. However, sorry, look. Frost does not have a lot of stamina to work with. He has more than a lot of the other CACs, but you still want to work on not moving using stamina at all. But his breaks are fairly simple, and usually if you do a heavy break just like that, you can go immediately into a secret poison, which is going to help you quite a bit. For those not aware of what the effects of secret poison does, in addition to doing 5,000 damage, it also makes it so that any time that your the enemy's character actually moves or does anything or consumes any key, it actually is going to take away at their health over time. Yes, you can indeed die from secret poison, which is what makes it so good. The effect also, from what I remember, does not go away for quite a while. So you immediately are at more of an advantage anytime they use stamina or key, and it also allows you to loop into some very good combos. Off this light stamina break, we can see how much damage we're gonna get here. Very good damage. We're gonna do some punches. We'll actually key blast to continue the combo, and we're at 6,000 damage off that combo flat. You can stamina break right into the chaos shot as well, and shoot the beam directly in front of you when they're stamina broken. Catch them off the ground. 
and then hit them with whatever you essentially want. But that's the basis of his combos. You're really only going to be using his all X combo into the uh, the continuation and then stamina breaking off of the teleport if you decide to cancel the all X combo. I want to note that the way you're doing this stamina break is that you're canceling his all X combo. All you're doing is canceling the X combo. And by that, I just mean stop hitting X as you see him teleporting and then immediately go into your stamina break. But that's really all you're going to be doing is Frost. It's fairly simple and Frost was a lot harder to play back in the day before they actually gave him the, the initial buff that made him fairly good. Um, but uh, for now, because he does so much damage, he's just really easy to play. You don't drop combos a lot as Frost. He doesn't have that problem. And he's just in a very good spot meta-wise. You can also do Secret Poison right off of a Light Break right here if you wanted to. Secret Poison also, if they have enough stamina, can be done directly into a full power energy wave as well. So... Here we go, guys. That's going to be the end of this Frost combo guide. If you guys have any other characters you'd like to request that you want to learn how to play in Xenoverse 2 uh, for me, please let me know in the comment section below and I'll actually get on those videos as soon as I can. I love, love, love this game and I still remember all the combos I used to do when I played this game professionally for two years. So I'm more than happy to help you guys out by giving you guys combo guides for any of the guys that you're not actually um, familiar with or some maybe someone you just want to learn for the flex, right? So anyway, there should be more Frost videos popping on your screen right about now so for you to watch those if you want to see Frost in action and ranked. And as always, guys, this has been Gizzlemech. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the other world. Have a great one. Bye, guys.